Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation homebrew news and much, much more. So there has been a bit of news about hacking the PlayStation 5 that has been in the scene over the last couple of days, and I just wanted to kind of give a kind of a quick take on what really all has happened. Beginning in summary, the boot ROMs have surfaced for the AMD Zen 1 and the Zen 2. Now, why is that important in the PlayStation 5 scene? Well, that's where we're gonna dive into it right now. AMD microprocessors, they use something called the Platform Security Processor. Now, this is commonly known as the PSP. Again, not to be confused with the PlayStation Portable. Now, the PlayStation Security Processor is an older name, and the new name is known as AMD Secure Technology. And basically what the PSP is, Trusted Execution Environment Subsystem, that again is found in the AMD microprocessors. Now, this is important to us in the PlayStation 5 scene because the PlayStation 5 uses this custom Zen 2 Ryzen chip. So the PSP is at the top of the chain of trust. Now, remember that since the boot ROMs were leaked for the Zen and the Zen 2 processors, and knowing that the PlayStation 5 uses a Zen 2, if we were to be at the top of the chain of trust, well, then we would be able to do things such as hijack the system at the startup. We could do some other sorts of reverse engineering of how the boot up sequence takes place. And I think of this as I think of how the Nintendo Switch was originally hacked. It was a hardware-based solution. And really, that is probably what the PlayStation 5 is going to get if something even comes out of this. Now, Spectre, or Spectre Dev, who most of you probably already know of in the scene, has been spending some time writing these articles that is on reversing the PSP. So I think there's a couple of those out right now. So obviously it was something that he is very interested in. Now he has commented on these boot ROMs right here that have been surfaced. And he said that reversing these boot ROMs is going to be difficult. And so if you're wondering what that means is, is that while it is very close to the custom Zen 2 Ryzen chip that the PlayStation 5 uses, it's not exactly yet, but it's close. But it's also going to be very time consuming in order to reverse the boot ROMs that was in that leak. So will anything come out of this? Nobody absolutely knows. But anyway, I thought that I would give a shorter take on what this is, and I think this pretty much sums up all of the news on the PS5 hacking that's been out here recently. Anyway, thank you so very much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out!